Happy New Year and welcome back to Paul's Model Works. Uh, we had some great holidays here as I trust uh, hopefully all of you guys did as well. Um, and had a nice little break from everything and uh, enjoyed some good, you know, relaxing family time. Uh, so anyway, but uh, man, we are marching already through January and uh, getting ready to, to start this year off right. Um, and so I wanted to uh, make my first video of 2015 um, and let you guys see uh, what I got going on here. Um, as you guys know, I have been working on the uh, 70 uh, Cornet Super B. Um, it's the uh, AMT Dirty Donnie kit. And it's it's a pretty decent kit. Um, you know, I think I showed you guys in my review that there was a lot of flash and, and, and a bunch of you know, cleaning up that needed to be done. Um, and so uh, that has consumed most of my time with the uh, preparations for the kit. Um, and I really didn't do a whole lot of building in December, uh, but I got some time during the holidays and so I've done a little bit of work and that's what I wanna show y'all. So let me turn this camera around and let you see what I got. Here is what I have gotten completed so far on the kit. Um, the body is in primer, the chassis is in primer, and then these are, you know, you got your engine, rear, uh, suspension, and seats here that are just cleaned up and, and ready for uh, their first coats of primer. Um, the weather has been really cold here, and so that's going to slow down some of my painting. Um, today we're like in the mid-20s, and at night it's dropping down into like the teens. Um, you know, so for us here, that's cold and, uh, it's just too cold to be doing too much painting, but I did get some, uh, painting done here. The box said the body is completely in primer, um, painted my first coat, sanded it down and then repainted the primer on there. Um, this is the Plasti Coat Black Primer and, uh, comes out really nice and smooth when you, uh, do it right. I mean, this is, uh almost almost baby baby butt skin smooth but it looks really good um, one thing I did do with the body is I have uh, uh, you know sort of cleaned it up I shaved off the door handles um, I shaved off the uh, trim that goes across the windows here um, this is going to be sort of a uh, cleaned up you know pro mod pro street version of this thing um, and then also i molded in this uh front valance here across the bottom this uh, this piece right here is a separate piece that you uh, glue in so i molded that all in and um, looks really good can't even tell uh, again that it was not part of it my lighting is not good in here Let's see if i can do something about that really quick Let's see, that might have helped a little. Anyway, um, there we go. Yep, that looks pretty good. So the body is ready for its first coat of paint. Um, and then we've got the chassis. Uh, this thing is all primered up. Um, again, as you guys have seen me do in my other ones, I kind of work in sub-assemblies. Um, try to paint everything in pieces that will all be the same color. So this is not going to be a rusty kit though. This one is going to be nice and shiny. So the chassis is going to be painted body color. Um, here's your hood. It's got the uh, cutout for the um, uh, the intake and everything. And then we've got our Hemi uh, motor here. Um, this thing is a pretty decent motor actually. Once you start a uh, getting it all put together. Um, it's a pretty nice little detailed motor. So that's ready. Uh, we've got our headers here and they've been cleaned up and I had to do a little bit of uh, filling in. Um, there was some sinkholes, or not sinkholes, but injector holes on those. And we've got our tunnel ram intake here and then the rear end 
um, stripped the uh, chrome off the forelink there and then uh, getting that thing ready for paint. Um, and then the seats are actually a really nice set of uh, racing seats for this thing. Um, they were really bad mold lines, seam lines and stuff, so those took quite a bit of cleaning to uh, make them look right, but they, they come out good. Um, but that's pretty much where I am at with this thing. I'm going to be trying some new um, paint work on this one, uh, and I'll just go ahead and keep that a secret for now because um, <laughs> first of all I've never done it before so I want to try it out first and uh, secondly um, I kind of want it to be a surprise because it's going to be a developing kit or paint and so I want to share that with you guys as I paint it um, but I will go ahead and tell you that this kit is going to be called Midnight and it's going to be the Midnight Madness and so uh, that will maybe give you an idea of where I'm going with the paint job. Maybe not. Um, but you guys can uh, take your ideas from there. Um, and as far as just stuff, it's going to be a pretty much box stock build um, in the with the addition of plumbing and wiring and um, a lot of detail parts um, that will be going on to this. And um, I'll be using a lot of the uh, Protec detailing parts on it to dress the motor up and uh, the interior and, and different parts of it, some of the exterior as well. Um, and I think it will, will turn out pretty good. So uh, hopefully I'll get some warm weather here and I can um, get this thing into paint and get it all set up and start uh, showing you guys what I'll be doing with the paint job. My goal is to kind of take you guys through my paint job, not completely step by step, not so much as a tutorial, but to kind of let you guys see what I'm going to be doing. Um, that's going to depend on the weather and how much painting I can get done when we have warmer days uh, and so on. But anyway, I will quit boring you with all of that. Uh, I know that we, uh, those of you that participated in the Secret Santa, I mean, received your kit. Um, some point we're supposed to be starting those kits and there's going to be a build off um, with everyone that got their kit um, i do plan to participate in that um and so i will probably like again i don't know when it starts but if it's going to be starting soon it'll probably be starting while i'm working on this one and if i'm close to finishing i'll probably finish this one first and then do the other one uh, but you know if not then i'll be working on two kits which is also a new thing for me because um, I am a one kit kind of guy, uh, mainly because I don't have the space to spread out two kits. And secondly, I don't have the, I don't know if you want to call it mental capability or whatever, uh, but I just I have a hard time focusing on two. So we're going to try it out this time though, and you never know. So anyway, that's it from me, guys. Stay tuned. And uh, again, just Happy New Year. And let's uh, get some great model building done in 2015. So until next time, keep building those awesome models. And you guys know, eat, sleep, styrene.